Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. It is Sunday, November 29th. God bless you today. I hope you have a great day today. Uh, also, I did put up a video uh, yesterday. If you have, if you have the, uh, if you want to take the, the Christmas challenge that I uh, am asking all of you to take to honor our Lord, knowing that Christmas is not His birthday, I am working on perfecting that in my life. But it's what it re represents right now. And I don't do Santa at my house because I feel like it's Santa trying to take all the glory away from God. And if you just switch two letters around, it does spell Satan, the man in a red suit. Just saying. But I did put a challenge up there. So if you're up for the challenge, check out the video. Or if you're just a God-fearing man or woman, check out the video. It will give you strength. It will make you feel better. Because I do show evidence of Jesus walking in the clouds. Amen. He does live. Now, let me go through what you have today because we have some severe weather going on today. The green area is a 5% chance uh, for tornadoes. And the red area you see here, oh, I'm sorry. The green area is 2% chance. The red area is 5% chance. But in layman's terms, the green area is a 2 out of 10 on the Torcon scale. And the red area is a 3 out of 10 on the Torcon scale. So there is chances for tornadoes today. So please be aware of that. Now, starting as early as 6 o'clock this morning, and I did put it to a little bit slower to where you can see what goes on with this rainstorm. And as we get to 10 o'clock, the big swath of it is going to be moving over Mississippi, then going towards Alabama. You can see the timestamp on the top left when all this rain event is going to happen for you today. This All this rain is going to be moving to the northeast and the east coast as well. Now, as you see, uh, as going into 10 o'clock tonight, it's going to be Tennessee, it's going to be North Carolina, it's going to be the East Coast. It's going to still be in Georgia. It's still going to be in South Carolina, Florida. And as we get in through this, this evening, tomorrow evening, uh, sorry, tomorrow morning, Florida, uh, this band of rain is going to be moving south along the whole Florida state. It's going to be going from 3 o'clock in the morning all the way to around 9 or 10. It does pop back up again around 2 o'clock in the afternoon and gets a little rough for southern Florida as well as the Keys. And then this, this band will also move through on Monday through the Bahamas. So Bahamas, you will see this band of rain moving through, causing you some problems, uh, some heavy rainfall. So be aware that this rain will be moving through for you. Now, as we go back through the system and see exactly what goes on, this is 7 o'clock this morning right now. And as you see, it moves through Mississippi. And then we do have some storms on the East Coast as well. And uh, when this moves through, and thank God, Louisiana, you're finally going to be out of the rain come three o'clock this afternoon so that's a good thing because y'all been in it for a long time but now south carolina is going to be in on it georgia mississippi alabama's on it tennessee also virginia and west virginia will also be in this as well as north carolina now this system will move into the northeast uh, when you get around four o'clock in the morning tomorrow it's when the snow starts setting in i will show you the accumulations but as far as ohio West Virginia, Virginia, and everybody in the Northeast, this system will be moving through for you come tomorrow morning. And it will go all the way to the Northeast, bringing heavy rainfall. Could be some flash flooding involved as well. I'm not showing any tour cons for y'all yet, so it's a really good thing. But it goes all the way up to Maine, and you do get the blunt of, end of, of all these storms. It looks like it stays around Maine a little bit longer than everywhere else because all these rains offshore do circle around from the rotation of the system and come back in Maine, as you can see, all the way until tomorrow night and to Tuesday morning. So that is a lot of rainfall. Now let's go through, let's go through the snowfall advisory so you can see exactly who's going to get what snow and when, or mostly who's going to get the heaviest part of snow. I know that's a lot of people's uh, questions: is how much snow are they actually going to be getting? Uh, from this from this event that's going to be popping up. Now, when I go through uh, the ch the check the checklist of the winter uh, forecast pr probabilities of four four inches of snowfall. Now, when we go through the first one, which will be tomorrow for y'all, I'm showing that the heaviest will be uh, 40 to 70 percent chances of at least four inches of snowfall uh, for these counties. If you're in these counties, you expect to get at least four to, to uh, almost eight inches of snowfall. In the gray area, you have a 10 to 40% chance of getting just the four inches of snowfall. Now, when we check and see what the eight inches is, I'm not showing that anybody in this area will be getting eight inches for tomorrow. 
But when you go into the next day, when it goes a little bit more in the northeast, the uh, red is a 70% chances of at least getting 40, uh, four inches of snowfall. The blue, you have uh, 40 to 70% chances of getting four inches of snowfall. But when you go to eight inches, you'll see exactly who has a, a better chance of getting eight inches of snowfall from Jamestown to Cleveland from this event. Me, myself, I think a lot of that is going to be a lake effect snow. That's just what I believe. Now, let me go through the amount that y'all going to be getting so y'all can see exactly who's getting what and where. I'm showing Detroit, you're definitely going to be getting some heavy snowfall as well as right by Flint. Detroit's going to be getting over four inches. That's what the dark green is. The lighter green is two inches. And as you go even lighter, it's one inches. Now, Ohio has a lot of hit and misses as far as where the, snow, the heavy snowfall is going to be. I am showing four to five inches in some spots, but some spots only sees one, one inch. So it is going to be a lot of hit and miss on this snowfall event. But here's the heaviest ones that I can find so far. And it is going all the way down to Columbus. Uh, I had somebody ask me about Dayton as far as how much snowfall you're going to be getting. It is going to be on the edge, Dayton. You can, be, you can get uh, see some flurries that won't even stick to the ground. But right to the east of you could be an inch. Then to eat a little bit more to Cedarsville could be two inches. I will update this this afternoon because I know that these storms will change as far as who and when will be getting hit with all this snowfall. But I will be start doing from now on uh, every Saturday. Every Saturday, as you know, I take off for the Sabbath, and I will be doing a uh, video every Saturday, and it won't be pertaining to weather. It will be pertaining to our Lord. And as we know, I do. I did start a, a new section called the plus section, and that's what that's going to pertain to. So those that uh, want to hear about the Lord and hear about everything coming on with the Lord as far as I feel about it, check in the videos because I will make it inspiring. I will make it all glory goes to God as it should be. We should always wake up with God in our hearts, guys. Now I'm going to put it on the, the severe weather for you, and I'm going to play it for you so you can see also what goes on and when in your area today as I read from the, from the Bible because we have to start our day with God in our hearts, guys. That's the best way to be. You got to get your mind right because the devil attacks you as soon as you get going. Now let this load up real quick for you. Now last time we read from Matthew 7. Today is going to be Matthew 8. When he was come down from the mountain, great multitudes followed him. And behold, there came a leper and worshipped him, saying, Lord, if thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. And Jesus put forth his hand and touched him, saying, I will, be thou clean. And immediately his leprosy was cleansed. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the chapter that I'm on with my kids. We went through eight yesterday. I read the Bible so much throughout the day, guys. It's hard to remember who I read to what. <laughs> I just know I read the Bible to people. Amen. Today we are on nine. Amen. And he entered into a ship and passed over and came into his own city. And behold, they brought to him a man sick of the palsy, lying on a bed. And Jesus, seeing their faith, and said unto the sick of the palsy, Son, be of good cheer, thy sins be forgiven thee. And behold, certain of the scribes said within themselves, This man blasphemeth. And Jesus, knowing their thoughts, said, Wherefore think ye evil in your hearts? For where, what, whether it is easier to say, Thy sins be forgiven thee, or to say, Arise and walk. But that ye may know that the Son of Man hath power on earth to forgive sins. Then saith he to, to the sick of the palsy, Arise, take up thy bed, and go into thine house. And he arose and departed to the house. But when the multitude saw it, they marveled and glorified God, which had given such power unto men. And as Jesus passed forth from thence, he saw a man named Matthew, sitting at the receipt of, of custom, and he saith unto him, Follow me. And he arose and followed him. And it came to pass, as Jesus sat at meat in the house, behold, 
many publicans and sinners came and sat down with him and his disciples. And when the Pharisees saw it, they said unto his disciples, Why eateth your master with publicans and sinners? But when Jesus heard that, he said unto them, They that be whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. But go ye and learn what that meaneth. I will have mercy and not sacrifice. For I am not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Then came to him the disciples of John, saying, Why do we and the Pharisees fast oft, but thy disciples fast not? And Jesus said unto them, Can the children of the bride chamber mourn, as long as the bridegroom is with them? But the days will come when the bridegroom shall be taken from them, and they shall fast. No man putteth a piece of new cloth unto an old garment, for that which is put in to fill it, fill it up from the garment, and the, and the rent is made worse. Neither do men put new wine into the old bottles, else the bottles break, and the wine runneth out, and the bottles perish. But they put new wine into new bottles, and both are preserved. And while he spake these things unto them, behold, there came a certain ruler and worshipped him, saying, My daughter is even now dead, but come and lay thy hand upon her, and she shall live. And Jesus arose and followed him, and so did his disciples. And behold, a woman which was deceased with an, with an issue of blood twelve years, diseased, sorry, diseased with an issue of blood of twelve years, came behind him and touched the hem of his garment. For she said within herself, if I, may, if I may but touch his garment, I shall be whole. But Jesus turned him about, and when he saw her, he said, Daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith hath made thee whole. And the woman was made whole from that hour. And when Jesus came into the ruler's house and saw the minstrels and the people making a noise, he said unto them, Give place. For the maid is not dead, but sleepeth. And they laughed at him to scorn. But when the people were put forth, he went in and took her by the hand, and the maid arose. And the fame hereof went abroad into all the land. And when Jesus departed thence, two blind men following him, crying and saying, Thou son of David, have mercy on us. And when he was come into the house, the blind men came to him. And Jesus saith unto them, Believe ye that I am able to do this? They said unto him, Ye, Lord. Then touched he their eyes, saying, According to your faith, be it unto you. And their eyes were open, and Jesus straightly charged them, saying, See that no man know it. But they, when they were departed, spread abroad his fame in all that country. As they went out, behold, they brought to him a dumb man possessed with a devil. And when the devil was cast out, the dumb spake. And the multitudes marveled, saying, It was never so seen in Israel. But the Pharisees said, He casts out devils through the prince of the devils. And Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. But when he saw the multitudes, he was moved with compassion on them, because they fainted and were scattered abroad as sheep having no shepherd. Then saith he unto his disciples, The harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest, that he will send forth laborers into his harvest. Amen. God bless you all today. I hope you all have a great day. It is going to be a nice day. It is a lot of rain that's going to be going on for the south and southeast. Just hold tight. It will pass. And once again, if you remember the video the other day, we still got that second storm that is going to be coming right after this one. And that second storm is going to be putting heavy rainfall for the northeast. And I'm showing almost up to 20 inches. So bless you all. Hope you have a great day. All glory does go to God. Amen.
guys.